Alrighty guys, so right quick for up in today's video here on Bethlehem, we're going to be hosting a really large giveaway of two wolf mount boxes being split between two lucky winners, so one to each. If you guys liked it, make sure and like the video, comment down below your Bethlehem IGN, and subscribe to the channel, and of course be notified guys. Today's first comment gets themselves two donator boxes for free. Make sure and be notified, we're actually getting very close to 6,000 subscribers as well. So please subscribe to the channel. But hey, believe it or not, today is actually my first time ever checking out Bethlehem. And I don't even understand why. This server literally looks so fucking chill and cool and very unique. Anyways, what we're basically going over for today's video are these new mounts that are released into the game. These actually have been out for quite some time. There are a couple of YouTubers that did make videos, but honestly, they're really old videos. And I haven't seen a server still to this day come out with mounts in a server where you can literally ride the NPCs and get bonuses with it as well. So if we just quickly hop over to the wiki site, which I will link down below for you guys to check out yourself, we can see all the mounts here. We have the Blood Wolf Mount, Phoenix Mount, and Ippers Dragon Mount. Their wiki site's actually so good. It tells you everything about these as well, literally how to get them or what the bonuses will be once you guys actually achieve it as well. You can actually see the outfit being equipped and being equipped with a pet. But you can also see it actually isn't that great once you guys equip the pet and I'll show you why in a little while. Well, it basically shows you right here. So why did I go through all this to get them out? Okay, the reason is, is because once you actually wield them out, you guys will hit constant 50,000 magic damage. That is not capped. So you can also damage Virago with it. So it's very fucking worth it. And obviously once you get this, you can go for the other mounts, which are way better. The only downside I could say about going for these mounts though is for the Phoenix one, you need a divine donator. So it does have a, you know, donator required to get it and then things with that as well to get it but honestly dude look at all the uh look at the set here look at the drops for once you get here it actually has the hp there as well and then it actually shows you what you'll be hitting 660 at 6 000 consistently so some of the bigger monsters are not so hard now and that's like so much better already from the first blood wolf pet then of course if you're trying to go for the emperor's dragon mount that will be the most difficult one to get endless amount of hours to grind for it but literally it's so freaking worth it you can see if you guys actually mount this you will get 9.99 million consistently like damage every single time no matter what you're hitting so this will literally make every monster in game whatever you're doing like just fucking simple dude literally so simple the gear setup looks literally flawless as well this might be a donator only thing i'm not too sure but it shows right here this is probably the hardest of all mounts to get we are talking a serious amount of luck and gameplay to even get this mount as it is only available through king carry at home with legendary tickets from 2k20 boxes so probably donation only or maybe the 2k20 zone would drop that not too sure so first things first come to your minigame teleport and then come down to blood wolf mounts there's also the liz shaman here as well for the shaman set but let's go to the blood wolf mounts first make sure before you teleport in don't have any pets or mounts equipped otherwise you can't even come the blood wolves are only level 80 and you can see the rare drops here the wolf head totem and the blood wolf pet these are the two items required to actually go on top and mount this wolf i could understand if it takes a little bit of time to kill them on a brand new account but truly i basically one hit these things they don't have too much hp so it shouldn't take you guys too long to actually grind out these two items that are required once you finally received your wolf head totem and your pet make sure and come to the list shaman for your shaman set it'll even tell you in the chat box right here collect the full shaman set in order to truly uh, control your pet again you're gonna be going for the body legs boots gloves and staff and believe it or not these things are level 150 but their health is only 50k which is one fourth the health of the actual blood wolf so this is actually really good the only thing is it will teleport you around like it just did to me right there but hey, it really isn't an issue there. 50k HP, not too bad. Look at that, already got our first piece. The Shaman Body, easy. Once you've completed the set, you got your Wolf Head Totem and the pet. You can come home, summon your pet, and then come to the summoning tab, and you can mount the wolf. Look at this, dude. I'm literally mounting this wolf. And now everywhere I go, I'll actually have that extra 50,000 damage, no matter what I'm killing which is freaking dope and this thing looks sick dude i'm literally rocking got a wolf right now running around the home area and look at this i'll actually change out my gear setup and i'm still wearing that set with the wolf like you can literally go to different gear setups it's kind of like a cosmetic override kind of once you actually get the set and mount it but that is basically it simple enough remember if you are trying to take the extra step and go for the divine donator and then go for the divine phoenix set this is the pet with it this pet looks so sick i really love their pets their animations 
everything here looks pretty cool it's really amazing for a custom server right now honestly no idea why i haven't checked it out yet but i know i'll be here much more pretty sure we can go ahead and uh, mount this bad boy as well you need the full uh, divine phoenix set equipped in order to tame the divine phoenix i guess i don't have the full divine set not too sure but a uh, same thing with the emperor's set as well if you guys get the emperor's set there is a emperor's dragon scroll this is the most difficult hard one to go for this is gonna take you guys hours but it's hella worth it look at this dragon that thing is taking up half of the home area right now which is so fucking dope and on top of that it gives 99.9 .9 million bonus damage on any boss so like end game is going to be so easy if you guys had this set with this pet so definitely come and check it out but i love you guys hope y'all enjoyed today's video that is going to wrap it up don't forget about our giveaway as well. This server literally looks amazing. So please come and check it out. And of course, subscribe to the channel. But love you guys. This dragon is literally smacking me in my face. Like giving me a big old dick slap right now. Okay. Well, yeah. Peace, guys. And I love you.